Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. St. Andrew the Apostle Paris welcomes you to the celebration of the Holy Eucharist in this Friday of the second week of Easter. We celebrate the memorial of St. Bernadette Subirus. Let us now begin our Eucharistic celebration. Jesus Christ is risen today. Alleluia. Our triumphant holy day. Alleluia. Who did once upon the cross. Alleluia. Supper to redeem our Lord. Alleluia. My brothers and sisters, together with your own individual intentions and the individual intentions of those who join us through live streaming, and for my own individual intentions, and for the intentions offered in this Mass, we continue to pray to God our Father that He may help us heed our health protocol so that we can be saved from this pandemic. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries in the Holy Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and mercy. Let's pause for a short moment to examine ourselves. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and Bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, our Father, hope and light of the sincere, we humbly entreat you to dispose our hearts to offer you worthy prayer and ever to extol you by dutiful proclamation of your praise through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. A Pharisee in the Sanhedrin named Gamaliel, a teacher of the law respected by all the people, stood up, ordered the apostles to be put outside for a short time, and said to the Sanhedrin, Fellow children of Israel, be careful what you are about to do this men. Some time ago, Judas appeared claiming to be someone important, and about 400 men joined him, but he was killed. And all those who were loyal to him were disbanded and came to nothing. After him came Judas the Galilean at the time of the census. He also drew people after him, but he too perished and all were loyal to him, were scattered. So now I tell you, have nothing to do with these men, and let them go. For if this endeavor or this activity is of human origin, it will destroy itself. But if it comes from God, you will not be able to destroy them. You may even find yourselves fighting against God. They were persuaded by him. 
After recalling the apostles, they had them plugged, ordered them to, speak, to stop speaking in the name of Jesus, and dismissed them. So they left the presence of the Sanhedrin, rejoicing that they had been found worthy to suffer dishonor for the sake of the name. And all day long, both at the temple and in their homes, they did not stop teaching and proclaiming the Christ, Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. One thing I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. One thing I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? One thing I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate His temple. One thing I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. One thing I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. Let us now honor the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. From the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went across the Sea of Galilee. A large crowd followed him because they saw the signs he was performing on the sick. Jesus went up on the mountain, and there he sat down with his disciples. The Jewish feast of Passover was near. When Jesus raised his eyes, and saw that a large crowd was coming to him, he said to Philip, Where can we buy enough food for them to eat? He said this to test him, because he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, 200 days wages worth of food would not be enough for each of them to have a little. One of, the, one of his disciples, Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, said to him, There is a boy here who have five barley loaves and two fish. But what good are these for so many? Jesus said, have the people recline. Now there was a great deal of grass in that place. So the men reclined about 5,000 in number. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks, 
and distributed them to those who were reclining, and also as much of the fish as they wanted. When they had had their fill, he said to his disciples, Gather the fragments left over, so that nothing will be wasted. So they collected them and filled twelve weaker baskets with fragments from the five barley loaves that had been more than they could eat. When the people saw the sign he had given, they said, Truly, this is truly the prophet, the one who is to come into the world. My brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, good afternoon. Good afternoon. In 1982, Pope John Paul II, now St. John Paul II, had a meeting with the youth of Scotland. And this meeting of Pope John Paul II with the youth of Scotland was televised, covered by television. One of the passages of the Bible mentioned by Pope John Paul II to the youth of Scotland was taken from our gospel for today. And that passage tells us of Andrew presenting to Jesus the five barley loaves and two fish shared by a little boy from the crowd. The selection of this passage was on purpose because St. Andrew the Apostle is the patron of Scotland, like your parish. The patron is St. Andrew the Apostle. So John Paul II reminded the youth of Scotland, that Andrew the Apostle knew how sorely lacking was the food offered by the boy, five barley loaves and two fish. That's why we heard from the Gospel Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish. But what good are these for so many? So he knew how sorely lacking was the food, five barley loaves, and two fish to feed the multitude of 5,000 men. However, whatever Andrew the apostle had from the boy, he entrusted all of them to the hands of Jesus. And Jesus blessed them blessed the five barley loaves and two fish. And in the end, it became sufficient. It became enough. 
and even more to feed the 5,000 men. Because after they had their fill, they were able to gather 12 wicker baskets with fragments from the five barley loaves. So more than they could eat. So when we offer something to Jesus and Jesus bless it, even if it is lacking, it will be more than we could expect. That is why John Paul II said to the youth of Scotland, this is very true with yourself. Like St. Andrew, you know, that yourself is also inadequate, lacking. But I say to you, entrust yourself, your inadequate self, to Jesus, and Jesus will accept you and will bless you more than you ever had expected. So my brothers and sisters, like our patron, St. Andrew the Apostle, let us also entrust ourselves to him, knowing that we are inadequate, sorely insufficient, but Jesus will bless us with more than what we ever had expected. Sumasamo kami sa'yo, marapatin yaring alay, Panginoon tanggapin mo, Itong alak at tinapay Sa'yo po naming handog Buong puso't pag-iisip Ilayo mo sa panganib at kukupin sa pag-ibig, buhay namin akalan, sundin ang iyong kalooban, lugod naming paglingkuran, layunin ang Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept in compassion, O oh God, our Father, we pray the offerings of your family that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to Let the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O God, our Father, but in this time above all, to lodge you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the holes of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. 
Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, we sing together the unending hymn of your glory as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O God, our Father, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, and broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Si Cristo inamatay, alleluia. Si Cristo ay nabuhay, alleluia. Si Cristo ay babalik sa wakas ng panahon, alleluia, alleluia. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O God, our Father, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and ministered to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, O oh God, our Father, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Broderick, our Apostolic Administrator, and all the clergy, all the religious, and all the laity. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle Saint Andrew, the Apostle, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God Almighty, Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 
Amen. As Jesus taught us, so we now have the courage to pray to God, our Father in heaven, that He may deliver us from the scourge of COVID-19. Our, our Father, Father, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O God, our Father, we pray, from every evil especially this evil of COVID-19. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. A live and reign forever and ever. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer its other the sign of peace. Peace, peace be, be with, with you. you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins of, of the world. world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. My brothers and sisters, behold Jesus who rose from the dead. Happy are you who are called to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May Jesus bring all of us to everlasting life. Amen. There will be two of us who will distribute Holy Communion. So I will start in this aisle. Brother Rexy will also st will start in that aisle. And then after distributing Communion there, we go here in the middle aisle. So kindly line up in the aisle nearest to you. We remember how you love us through your death 
and still we celebrate, for you are with us here. And we believe that we will see you when you come in your glory, Lord. We remember, we celebrate, we believe. Here a million wounded souls are yearning just to touch you and be healed. Gather all your people and hold them to your heart. We remember how you love us to your death, and still we celebrate, for you are with us here. And we believe that we will see you when you come in your glory, Lord. We remember, we celebrate, we believe. We remember, we celebrate, we believe. Let us pray. Keep safe, O oh God, our Father, we pray. Those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns, forever and ever. Amen. Kindly all kneel and let us now pray the Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our, our Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity the of the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We apply to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Alonsod, pray for us. Saint Bernadette Subirus, Pray for us. Saint Andrew the Apostle. Pray for us. Please all stand. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God continue to bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is over. Go and rejoice. Because by entrusting your whole self to Jesus, like Saint Andrew, he will bless you more than you expect. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Regina Celi, letare, Alleluia. Gia quemeru isti portare, Alleluia. Resurrexit sicut nixit, Alleluia. Ora pro nobis deum, Alleluia. Have a safe way home. Thank you.